Hey, this is Robin Bremer, author of the Kingdom Living series, uh, three books about walking in the supernatural presence and power of God through the kingdom being inside of us. And today I want to go over something that I've gone over several times before, but uh, a lot of people are concerned about it or thinking about it or not sure about it, and that's signs, wonders, and miracles. Are they for today? Um, how do you know you're not being deceived? How do you know what's of God and what's of the devil? Well, first of all, um, anything that has to do with occult and new age is not of God. Anything to do with seances and tarot, tarot cards and astrology, numerology. Uh, the Bible does talk about numbers and that's different from numerology. Um, anything that tarot cards, um, Ouija board, uh, seances, calling up the dead, speaking to the dead. You're not speaking to the dead, you're speaking to familiar spirits which impersonate the person that is dead because they've been around for thousands of years and they know what this dead person is like, they know the secrets and so on. So um, that's, uh, you don't want to communicate with the dead because you're not, you're opening the door to demonic activity. Um, the only time you communicate with the dead is if you tell them a dead person get up, be alive, live in Jesus' name, um, you know, walk, uh, live, and that's what you say, you don't, you don't talk to them and communicate with them. Um, we don't have, uh, supernatural signs, wonders, and miracles have nothing to do with Wicca, we, they don't, uh, casting spells, jinx, curses, hexes, are not of God, uh, God gives us, uh, it, and you have to remember this, everything that Satan does is a copy of what God does. There can't be a copy unless it's original and Satan can't come up with anything original. So all the things um, that these demonic occults, uh, Satanism, uh, witches, Wicca, and all this other kind of stuff, whether they call them a good or a bad witch, it's all the same. It doesn't have Jesus in it. It's not Jesus and it's all a copy of the supernatural of God uh, so we don't want to be deceived and we don't want to get into the supernatural things of the devil. But remember, they are a copy of the real thing. And the Christian is appointed to have real supernatural signs and wonders happening to him. And it seems as though today a lot of Christians are in fear and worry and um, get their hair all stood up on end and all freaked out when there's a ministry that does signs and wonders immediately they point to the scriptures that said that in the end times they will be deceiving signs wonders uh, if even possible to deceive the elect okay and right there is a, a what you need to see is even possible to deceive the elect because they love not the truth well you love the truth and you're the elect and it's not possible you're not going to be deceived because you're being led by the Holy Spirit so I believe that there's going to be two different groups of people in in Christian hood Christianness and that's going to be the group of people that have a supernatural relationship with the Holy Spirit and oops <laughs> I got two cats here and walk in God's supernatural presence and power that do signs and wonders and there's going to be uh, the religious group of Christians that um, what they do is they try to be good, they try to do right, they try to earn works and, and please God by doing things instead of a relationship. And you got to be careful because if you're in the religious group that tries to please God by works, then you're under the law and you're not going to be very happy. That's not what Jesus died for. Jesus died to give you a personal supernatural relationship with Him. And He is in heaven and the Holy Spirit is sent down to live inside of you as Jesus' representative so that you are endued with power just like Jesus was. And you got to remember that Christians are just like their daddy. In the beginning we were created in God's image in Genesis 1 and he gave us all authority and all dominion over all the earth and he told us to subdue it and to take dominion. Okay, And that's still his mandate. When Adam and Eve fell in the garden and gave their dominion and did not subdue the devil but gave their dominion to the devil, he became the ruler of this earth and he's the one that's causing earthquakes and tornadoes and bad weather and terrorists, the spirit behind terrorism, and all that other stuff. Not God. God is not judging the world. He will judge the world after the church gets raptured. Then he will pour out his wrath on those who did not receive Jesus. That's when they will be judged. Now the people who don't have Jesus in their heart are reaping what they sow. And they're reaping the curse on the earth that is over everybody. And the only way to get out of the curse is by 
having um, Jesus as your Lord and Savior and forgiving and receiving the fact that he forgave you of all your sins and the penalty and the curse of that okay so back to the signs and wonders now a lot of people are think that they're going to be deceived and they freak out and they go way over here and say everybody who does signs and wonders is is of the devil and demonic and I'm a watchman and I'm supposed to tell you how you know you're being deceived and so on um, but that's um, that's where you don't want to be in that company you want to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and Jesus uh, God is our father because of what Jesus did and the Holy Spirit is who lives inside of us leads us guides us teaches us and in my fourth book coming out by the end of the year it's all about the Holy Spirit and the new covenant and you're gonna love it it's awesome but um, the new covenant is all about the Holy Spirit and we are empowered and created in our Father God's image excuse me that means we do signs wonders and miracles and if you look back in Jesus's life Jesus says I have come to be a king and he's the king of kings and we're the kings that he's the king of and he showed us how to behave and he said he was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power and he says that he gave that same anointing and power to us and as he is so are we in this world okay so what he did he walked on water he healed the sick he cast out demons he cleansed the leopards he changed water into wine he multiplied the fish he multiplied the loaves he uh, got money out of a fish's mouth he did supernatural stuff like that and that's what we're created to do we're created it says that we are created for signs and wonders and it actually says that in the Bible if you get a strong concordance or get on the internet you can look that up and find that scripture it's in the Old Testament he says uh, me and my me and your children or something like that are for signs and wonders okay so we are created for signs and wonders a lot of people have so many voices shouting at them they have the TV on all day they have the newspaper they read and magazines they read they get bombarded at work and they're hearing all these voices of the world so much so that they're not hearing the Holy Spirit so they're not being led by the Holy Spirit they're being led by the world voices what to fear get fearful of what to do what not to do don't let your kids go to school it's gonna get shot up today don't go to movie theater you're gonna get blown up don't do this don't do that uh, in fear Okay, not led by the Holy Spirit, but in fear, you can't do anything um, because all these voices are shouting at you and you won't hear God. You won't be led by the Holy Spirit because you can't hear him because his voice is made so small because you're so used to hearing everything of the world. Instead, shut it all off and get in your Bible, start praying in tongues and start hearing the Holy Spirit guidance and direction get in a relationship with the Holy Spirit because it's going to get nasty in these end times and we're going to be still here when it's getting nasty because we are a light and light is only light in a dark place so it's going to get nasty before it gets better before we get raptured out of here and so you want to I mean even look at it now um, it's going to get to a point where you can't go to the hospital or they'll decide to take out a certain organ because that's more profitable so you want to have that relationship with the Holy Spirit you should hear his voice um, you should be able to experience supernatural realm you see we are spirit beings and we live in this body and we have a soul okay we are not this body this body is our covering that gives us legal right to have authority and dominion on this earth but we are spiritual beings and we have shut ourselves off from, from the fall of man it shut off our eyes so that we could not live in the spiritual realm but we live in the physical realm but there is spiritual all around us now when Jesus died for our sins he took us back to that place where we live in the spiritual realm as a physical body and have authority and dominion over it he gave us all authority and dominion over all the power of the enemy now if the enemy is coming against you in um, in uh, the weather you take authority over it you have the power in you to stop destroying weather if if uh, something else is coming against you and it comes to kill steal and destroy that's the definition of Satan he's a liar he comes to kill steal and destroy you have authority and power over all the power of the enemy you need to stop it and take authority um, we as Christians are not to sit around and be good people obedient people that's not our mission uh, we are re our sin 
prevented us to getting to God. Jesus took the sin problem out of the way so that we could have a relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that we could have a relationship with, with God. And as a result of that relationship, as a result of that relationship, we behave right. We have good behavior. We walk in love. Okay? That is the result of a relationship with Jesus, not a result of us trying to be right and good. It happens. It's like when you fall in love with your spouse. You do everything you can to please them because you love them, not because you're thinking, um, I have to, or they're going to beat me, or they're going to hit me over the head, or they're going to throw a tornado at me, or they're going to open up the earth and swallow me whole. You know, that's how a lot of people think about God, and that's not how God wants us to think about Him. It's all about a relationship. So science wonders and miracles are created in us. They are part of our nature. They are part of who we are, spiritual beings. And I'm talking about things like um, like Jesus did. I'm talking about things that are in the Bible. And I have a chart that lists um, all the miracles, signs, and wonders that I could find or roughly on a chart on uh, experiencing the Bible on Facebook. Um, yeah, and it's also on my website, robinbremer.net. And it lists that you can expect all that to happen to you. You can expect angels to come to you and guide you out of prison or take you out of a situation or a problem. You can be transported. People were transported. People, uh, Paul was baptizing somebody, I believe it was Paul. And, and when he came up out of the water, the guy came up out of the water, but Paul disappeared. And he was seen somewhere else, miles and miles away. Okay? So all these things are going to happen are not available for us. Just remember, Satan cannot create anything. He can only copy, twist, and and turn it around. Um, and anything that the Word of God says you know them by their fruit and you know them by the Spirit. If they confess and believe that Jesus was God's Son and He came to earth in the flesh, then it's safe to believe that they're of God. Now, religion does this. They look at the person and they say, oh, the signs for example, let's just say Todd Bentley, who was a man who was married and was um, holding a revival. And the same time he was holding a revival, he was cheating on his wife. But he had signs, wonders, and miracles following him. But I want to tell you something. Religion looks at the character of a person and says, no, they're no good. They're doing signs, wonders, and miracles. They're of Satan. Okay. Christi Christianity looks at the character of God. God knows we're imperfect people and he uses imperfect people and he used for example Todd Bentley who was cheating on his wife who was sinning and doing something wrong but you know what he knew how to walk in God's power and presence and the revival and the things that went on in his ministry was true and was right and it was from God God didn't take his anointing and his presence and his power off of him because the man was doing something stupid he still he still walked in God's presence and power because God loves his people. God wants to deliver people and set them free. He doesn't want to punish them and correct them. He wants them to, to know him personally and wants them to do right because they choose to do right because they love him. Okay, so signs, wonders, and miracles are from God when they point to Jesus they lift up Jesus they make Jesus the center point that's the key thing that you have to look at Jesus is lifted up Jesus is exalted Jesus is a center point and people are drawn to the goodness of God and to Jesus so that's all I have to say in this video clip I hope that sent somebody free if you want the scriptures you're gonna have to go to my website and you're gonna have to you know uh, go to the blog and and just type in supernatural or type in keywords and and you'll have scriptures because I I've been, I've been teaching it all over the place on my website, on YouTube, um, on my on uh, Facebook. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. And um, check out my books uh, on Amazon.com. Um, they're called, um, number one is called The Joy of Kingdom Driven Living. Number two is kingdom justice and liberty for all and that's my favorite one that's really awesome that's about walking all over the devil and number three is um, um, the kingdom and pursuing the kingdom mandate and that's what we're supposed to do 
So, my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Check out my books on Amazon. Check out my uh, blog. And you have a blessed day. And please post questions underneath. Even if you don't believe what I believe, or you have a question or objection, post your questions underneath. I am not going to argue with somebody. I'm going to just use that if somebody disagrees me with me as a point of teaching other people that want to be set free and that have that objection but they want to know the truth. They don't want to argue. They want to know the truth. So I'm not going to argue with you. Um, so my name is Robin Bremer and I'll talk to you tomorrow.